Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm here for another Walking Dead review, my second one of the day. You can check out the others on the playlist. Um, this was kick-ass. Um, it was an awesome episode. Um, it's called... Better Angels. And uh, it came out... And it's Season 2, Episode 12. Came out on March 11, 2012. Um... This was like a kick-ass episode. Uh, it starts off, everyone has like a big funeral for Dale. Um, and Mick talks about how he was honest. He wasn't afraid to tell you what, how he felt. And no matter if you were wrong or right. Um, talks about how he saw you for what you were. And uh, he talked about how this group is broke. So we, they're going to honor him by showing that this group isn't broke. And is, um, yeah, and is, uh, are gonna, then they're going to start working together and, you know, uh, keep being like a family. Um, and that's exactly what happened. As he was saying this, they saw walkers and every, all the group were working together to take out the walkers, um, which technically was happening anyways, but they were like, they took a zombie and they all stomped on it, uh. You know, Shane was beating it with a shovel. Um, Andrea with a uh, pitchfork. Um, T Dog with a bat. And I think. No, I think T No, T Dog with, with uh, some other thing. I, I didn't really get a look, look at the weapon. And Dale with his uh, crossbow shooter. And it just shows that. And I thought that was awesome. And then. Um, it. Uh, then uh, kicks right off. And uh, Dale. No, Herschel decides to let um, all the groups stay in the house. And so they're all going to move down there and they all get each tasks. And Rick and Dale are going to go down and uh, set free Randall. Uh, I found out his name was Randall. I, I think they finally said his name. Um, they, at least in this episode, which is too little too late, I guess. Um, and um, they're all going to get e different tasks. And... Um, Rick wants Andrea to watch over Shane, make sure he doesn't get into any mischief. Um, and Andrea, you know, for when Rick leaves, and Andrea says, why don't you stop leaving then? Um, and I guess she agrees to. And she, he even got suspicious saying, um, did, why did you ask uh, me um, what's going on? You and him have been, you and him seem to get along really well. And then he, Andrea was like, we talk. So uh, they knew. Um and then, um, what happens is, uh, Carl tells Shane about what happened with the, uh, whole Dale incident. How he thinks it's his fault, and Shane says, it's not your fault. And he tells him to take the gun and protect himself, because he can't protect him all the time. And Carl never, went never wants to touch a gun again. So later on, uh, Shane goes to talk to Rick about this, and, um, Rick says I'll have my mom talk about him, and Shane says this is something that a father should talk to him about. And, um, Rick says, uh, I gotta deal with this prisoner first. And Shane says, what's more important, setting a prisoner free or your son? And Shane walks away all pissed. And then, um, Carl's in the, um, the barn and Shane walks up to him. No, no, and Rick walks up to him and tells him what happened with there wasn't your fault. And says that you can't be a little kid anymore, you have to take this gun um, you can't have the same childhood I was. I wish you could, but you can't. And he tells them that people die. Um, eventually everyone dies. We just don't expect it. You're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Your mother's gonna die. And, um, I know this is all doesn't happen in order, but that's just the way I'm going with this. And then, um, Rick says, uh, that, uh, he tells us call to take the gun, and he does so, and it was a good father-son moment. It wasn't like a, you know, a good father-son moment in this world, but in their world it was, because everything he was saying was true. Um, and then what happens afterwards is, uh, Rick, um, well, before that, Shane was working on, um, the windmill. And, uh, Lori, uh, comes up, and, uh, he talked about how he didn't feel like this was real between when it, when it happened to Sophia, but now it feels real when it happens to uh, Dale. 
And I think she and I think she thanks uh, she, um, Shane for everything that she's done saving her life. And she she feels bad that uh, everything's going down the way it is between him and between Shane and Rick. And she's not even sure whose baby it is. And she uh, says sorry about everything that's ever happened between them. So I thought that was a good scene. And then, uh, but that was before that. And before that, um, Herschel get, is giving um, Lori her bed, considering the fact that they're going to be sleeping on the floor. And I guess it's not good to sleep on the floor if you're pregnant. So T they're all having an argument saying that you shouldn't have it. So T-Dog had walked up and said, I'll take it if nobody wants it. And then um, Glenn and uh, Andrea um, start fixing the RV. And um, Glenn um, says... Uh, when he's fixing the RV, he says, you let uh, Dale down, um, he was supposed to be, I was supposed, I could have helped him, and Dale said, um, you did everything you could, he's proud of you, um, and then they finally fixed the RV, and it was a good, feel good moment, um, and Andrea says he loved all of us, um, I made my fair share of mistakes too, and I, th I actually normally don't like Andrea, but this episode, she was actually pretty... You know, she was actually, like, very likable in this episode. She actually wasn't as that bad. And I think that's great. But now I want to talk to you about the big stuff that happens. Screw the, uh, all that. That's, like, little stuff. This is, like, big stuff. So, uh, we see that this guy, I guess, is trying to pull himself out of the, uh, the hand, the clutches. Um, what's it called? The shackles. And he's, I guess his hands are coming off, and Shane comes in, and he gets, like, this crazy murderous look. He starts hitting his head like a murderer does, and you thought, I thought he was going to kill this guy. But what ends up happening is, uh, Shane, is, uh, when T-Dog goes to get this, to get Randall so he can set him free, uh, he's gone. Um, and they can't find him anywhere. And Shane, um, takes this guy, and he says, if... And he's going to let him uh, talk. And he says if he talks, he's going to kill him. And he's like, he he makes him tell him where his group is. He said he's done with this group. He's going to move on to a different group. Um, and he tells him that it's like by the high. He tells him where it is pretty much. And um, he keeps talking because he gets, when he, talk when he talks, he gets nervous. And uh, he's like, you're going to like it uh, at our group. At all the men, we do it, it gets pretty crazy sometimes. And then they like disappear behind a tree, and we don't, and we hear this guy. Uh, we don't. He doesn't say anything anymore. We hear, we hear like his neck snap or something. We hear well, we hear him come out, and then Shane comes out like he killed him, and he cuts his head on a tree. Um, and then when the gang's trying to, when all the groups trying to find um, Randall, um, Shane comes back and he has his gun, and he plants this gun, and he buries his gun in the leaves. And, um, he, and he blames him, saying, um, that this guy tried to kill me, he took my gun, and he's out there with my gun right now. So then Rick, Glenn, and Dale go out to try to find this guy. And, um, what happens is, uh, they separate into two, they separate into two different groups. Dale and Glenn separate, and, um... Yeah, and Rick and uh, Shane separate, which you can... And uh, Rick continued to, like... When they were going together, they looked, like, suspiciously at um, Shane. Like, this, like it all wasn't true, um, which it isn't. Um, it's all a setup. But he, he doesn't know that, but he's suspicious about it. And um, Shane's, like... Continues to, like, keep walking. And he's like, let's go. Um... And then Glenn and Dale, Dale kind of figures it out. He's like, these tracks, he, he's taking them out farther. Out, and he finds the uh, blood stain, and he finds the blood on the tree that Shane used to cut his head on. And um, then uh, they see uh, somebody, uh, like a walker, walking in the woods. So um, the walker comes up, and it's Randall. Like, it, looked, it was Randall. And um, they kill him. He puts up actually a decent fight, but, uh, they eventually kill him, um, with a, uh, I think like a axe or something, a knife, um, and he has no bite marks, 
but the he put but his neck's broken and that's what turned him into the walker. Um, so it was very odd. Um, then what happens is Rick and Shane come into like this empty part of the uh, woods and um, like open area, and Rick's like, you just, if you want to kill me now, just do do it now. And Shane uh, has his gun out and Rick doesn't, and he finally figures out that uh, it was all a trap. And uh, he wants to know why he's been doing this stuff. Um, I thought we worked this all out. And Rick, Shane's like, we're not, we don't work things all out. We're not going to ride off into the sunset and work this stuff all out. And he talks about how uh, Rick's just making everything worse coming back. He set a fire. Um, and uh, that he's like the right guy for Lori. Um, and uh, Rick says that if you kill me... you. you you don't deserve to be called the fu daddy to my children, and you don't deserve to go out there with my wife. Um, and Shane tells him to kill him at first, but he doesn't do it. And then um, he, Shane, um, Rick says that he um, he's not that kind of man. Um, he doesn't want to be this way. And uh, then she, so Shane tries to goad him into doing it, calls his wife, his kid weak, and, and he says that he'd be a better man for Lori. Um, and then, um, he, uh, Rick says that, uh, you wouldn't kill, you know, kill a man, why don't you, uh, we'll both drop our weapons. So then he hands, um, his weapon to Shane, and he stabs him with a knife. And, uh, afterwards, uh, we see, like, this zombie eating something. I don't know what it was, but it was something. And, um, when Carl sees what happens, and... Carl thinks it was too, on purpose, and Rick tries to explain it, but he and he Carl starts pointing the gun at Rick. But really, what was happening was we see uh, Shane comes up, and he ends up being a walker, which is strange because he's never been bit or anything. So I don't know what the hell happened. Um, and what happened is Carl shoots zombie Shane, walk Shane, and uh, then a bunch of walkers start coming. So then uh, that's how the episode ends, and I thought it was awesome. I don't even know what to say. Like, I can't even really explain how good this episode is. It's just kind of like, you have to see it to know how good it is and see it for yourself. This is one of those episodes. And I thought it was an awesome episode. Um, I really don't know what to say. Um, mainly for the reason is because Shane is going to probably be killed off now. And I wonder what it, the show is going to be like without Shane. Considering the fact that uh, he was like one of the main characters, he's the main big villain, and I wonder what's gonna happen now. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna keep coming back, but no, they, he's I think he's dead. Um, and I'm I'm gonna watch the last episode of the season and see what it's like. But I'll be back with that review. I just I don't even know what to say. I'm like speechless right now. I mean, that's why I'm not talking a lot. I'm was I'm more speechless. So I can't really explain how good this episode is. You have to see it for yourself.